Hey everybody! Welcome back to another line of plays of Binding of Isaac after Birth Plus. The game. Uh, personally, I intend to never lose it again. What do we got here? Ooh, we got interest. Great rate of fire. Or sorry, I should say great speed. Rate of fire, a little below average. Damage is amazing. Luck is good. Space ball, what's our seed here? 2 TTE N14K. 2 TTE N14K. Basically, everything coming out of our face is awesome right now. Um, I worry that we might be a little bit behind the eight ball with respect to our HP. There is, uh, you know, the incalculable specter hanging over us right now that if we get hit a single time, we could die. If we're not on one HP, this is an incredible start. If we're on one HP, it's cursed. Because it looks amazing, but is dangerous. But I've already told you we're not going to lose, so we got nothing to worry about. Hmm, not nearly good enough. There's probably a little, like, uh, almost like a math analysis you could provide. If you don't know how much HP you have, does that incentivize taking a pill that could be a health downgrade? You would think perhaps the answer is yes. Because if you're on 1 HP, it'll take you to 2. But if you're on 2, it'll take you to 1. So you gotta think, ugh. Are you more likely to be on 2 HP or 1 HP? And beyond that, which one's worth more? It's a tough question, I'm trying to think it through right now. Um, we get bombs, 4 pennies. So let's try to chain this. Please. Let's go. Completely worked. The tears downgrade is a, an enormous bummer, by the way. But we're trying to work it through. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have. Jump on me. Jump on me. Let's go. Stop jumping on me. Okay, so now we might be on 1 HP. Getting hit by the Widow is very embarrassing. I'm not happy with myself. What do you got for me? You got HP. And a trinket. The trinket is a demon tail. Um, give me a second secret room, please. Let's go. Not an eternal heart. I'll play it until we get down to five cents. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm gonna leave this floor. There was a card back here we might want to take a look at. I love this run. Don't get me wrong. I'm just a little worried about where we stand on the HP front right now. Everything else is great. If we go down to the next floor and we see that we have 2, 3 HP, I'm in love. If we see that we've got 1 HP and like half a spirit heart, less happy, but we'll see. Nothing to complain about in that department. 1 and 1 half spirit hearts. <laughs> hmm, so that's uh, a little scary, but not altogether horrendous. So this floor is really going to have a, a huge impact on our level of success. Ooh, that's amazing. I do want to point out, I'm uh, really happy to see the uh, Burnt Penny show up, because Burnt Penny, I mean, it's already given us more than five bombs at this point, but it's only going to get better as time goes on. You know, really, the thing about it that's nice is that it always incentivizes using a bomb to get a consumable, because it'll oftentimes pay for itself. Not a second secret room. The tower. Eh, a little spooky. There we go. If we can hit once or twice with the sprinkler, I'm a happy man. We should probably start putting it in the center of the room. That's like a best practice for this, I'm sure. But we are going to get this deal with the devil relatively risk-free. Range and shot speed not worth a whole heck of a lot. Oh my god, it's every item I could ever ask for. Um, well, we should... St <sighs> the thing is... Help. I just, I got mind flooded to all heck. Um, I think, we, the thing is two hard deals are going to cost the same as one hard deals once we lose our red hearts. So I think we want to s grab Abaddon last. Start with the nail. Okay, we need to grab Abaddon now actually. And then we could choose to take Guppy's Paw, and I will. 
but we're going to take the nail with us long term. Would you have handled that room the same way if you were in my shoes there? Three good items. I don't really like little harbingers. What did we end up getting out of it? Well, the stat upgrades from Abaddon really are the big deal. Bombs? Yeah, one bomb. Compost is tempting, but like honestly, I think we're going to roll a pretty classic, almost like Flash Isaac build. And what is a Flash Isaac build? I know it sounds like a German techno artist. Um, what it is in actuality is a build that is indicative of having come from Flash Isaac. You know, the ancient version of the game. In the annals of history. And one of the most common builds, I mean, Abaddon didn't exist back then. So, that's we've kind of already squandered Flash Isaac. But uh, one of the most common builds was like literally any item combination passively and then the nail actively. You use the nail and blue candle like exclusively in that game because there were like three items you could get from shops. It was like a guarantee that you were going to get one of those two items more or less on any given run. It was a different era, okay? Remember me saying this every time I say that like, oh, there's too many items in Isaac, there's too much bloat. There is, but there was a time where there weren't enough probably in order to ensure like the kind of variety that we're used to here. There's two of you. I do hate getting rid of the sprinkler, but our HP was our sticking point and we managed to make it work. So are we re-rolling our whole run? No, we're not. Um, instead, I'm gonna use one bomb to hopefully get many bombs as well as other things. Okay. Temperance and Hagalas. Hagalas gives us a key. I don't want to use a key for two bombs. And then Best Bud, aka Sworn Protector, aka What are you wasting my time for? AKA Really? After all I've done? No, it's not that bad. It's just not uh particularly interesting, unfortunately. I thought that was a secret room. If that were wasn't, and I think we placed it properly, this should be. And you know, if we're never gonna lose a run again. We should start doing things in our best interest from a due diligence standpoint, like that right there. Saved us a bomb. All that to get the magical I'm excited pill. The ill effects of which will not be exhausted before our next floor, unfortunately. Not a secret room. Potentially second secret room. I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk on this one. Uh, not a second secret room. Apparently we didn't check here. There we go. And butter. Butter doesn't do anything for us right now. Last thing I'll do... Try something like that. Okay, well, I mean... So much positivity going around on this run right now. So much beauty will make you cry. It's like a plastic bag. Sorry, I had to check Skype briefly. I'm coordinating uh, with one reality TV superstar when we're gonna play the next big Battle Royale sensation. Sack of pennies might as well be like sack of bombs, but better right now because of our uh, trinket synergy the only oh, there's two bad things about this run but don't take this as me saying it's a bad run because it's quite obviously not this is going to be in the uh, the list of like this is my golden age apparently where I only get seeds that are at least pretty friggin decent so excuse me I'm excited stay away uh we need Rate of Fire up, or we would like to have Rate of Fire up. And we would like to have some supply of Red Hearts, not just so we can play this Temperance card, but also so that we've got, like, guilt-free access to deals with the Devil. But apart from that, you know, those are the two kind of weaknesses identified in this run. If we were going to do an SWOT analysis, like this was Marketing 101, um, Strengths, Renewable Spirit Hearts, Passive Generation of Consumables that also generate other Consumables, More Than Enough Money, to go to shops, great damage, good luck, deal with the devil precedent, almost got a chance of a guppy, uh, we got one third of the guppy transformation here, which opens up avenues for future improvements, you know, I think we would make a great investment, personally, if you're looking at uh, putting some money into the Isaac stock market, this is the kind of run, do I want to say it's blue chip? Not necessarily, but uh, you know, there's, there's definitely the potential for future growth here. No question about it. 
Not to mention, you know, who's the CEO of this run? It me. So we're going to Empress this room. And uh, then we're going to go back and grab that battery charge. I think, it, you know, I don't know why I'm approaching this run in such a corporate fashion. I guess it's because it's the month of April, at least as of when I'm recording this. But this one's probably going to come out in May now that I think about how large the backlog is. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, and, you know, April's tax season. So you're always, you, you got it on the noggin a little bit. Most people, I think. Most people in my line of work, anyway. Mmm, businessmen. And women, for that matter. Let's pop this again. Uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, our best avenue for success? The shop, dude. Anything that allows us to use the nail more frequently is going to be uh, well, extremely conducive to our business plan. I can't wait to have my shareholder meeting. Hmm. Well, we love Black Candle, and we have Golden Bombs. So we'll blow that up and get some more bombs. I'll buy a Spirit Art just to keep us going. And you know what? <laughs> Never say I don't like to live life on the edge. It's an I'm excited pill. Not interested. Get that trash out of my face. Yeah, you know, it's funny when you grow up, the months mean different things to you. I have a, like, sterling memory of how months felt to me when I was younger. September? In, uh, in Canada, at least. Well, at least where I lived in Canada. September's the month where you always go back to school. I know in parts of the world they do it differently. In a lot of the U.S. they go back in August. But for me, it's September's back to school month. October's Halloween. November's my birthday. December's Christmas. January, if you look on a calendar, January's like a holiday and a snowflake. It's like a party hat and a blizzard. February's Valentine's Day. March is uh, Easter. April, spring. May would be like, uh, you know, sunshine. June's you get out of school. July is summer vacation. August is, uh, well, August is August, isn't it? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And now we've come back around. There's only a couple of months that don't have a noteworthy event associated with them. I don't feel the same about that anymore. A lot of them are still the same. Now it's like April's tax season. June is all of a sudden... There's children out during the day, which never happens between the months of September and June. <laughs> Meats. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. It's not markedly different. It's just, uh, you know, it just changes ever so slightly as an adult. PAX month, E3 month. Luge lessons in Rangoon. You know how we play this room. First off, we gotta blow that guy, but we can wait a second. You are gonna give me HP, and this is gonna cement us on a trajectory. Oh, that's not HP. It's gonna cement us on a trajectory that's gonna win us the game, HP or otherwise here. Hold up, we're gonna still roll the nail, but we do have enough HP that if we wanted to, we could take a bit of a market risk. I want to get some red hearts. Basically, I want the demon judgment to pay out and then see if what he pays out with is worth doubling. And if it is, then we'll start to talk. Dude, this would be a great opportunity to get a little guppy action going. Curse room plus a two-thirds deal with the devil chance? Three-quarters deal with the devil chance. I guess thanks to Abaddon. Ugh. So I want to throw down this Temperance card as well, but I want to get some Red Hearts. Because if we can get Red Hearts, we can maybe play like three... Well, we can play the Demon Judgment and two deals with the Devil simultaneously. Not deal with the Devil, two uh, Blood Banks simultaneously. Maybe? I hate this room. Banish this room! Banish it! Oh, Curse... Or, uh, Curse Sway. I've been playing way too much Slay the Spire. Um, Tinted Rock. That's what I mean to say. Please. Please. I was told there would be no math. Let's go. I only got hit three times. I'm gonna use it. 
Because I'm mad. Okay. Ah, it's garbage. Although it might have a red heart inside of it somewhere. Now we're like, to backtrack is going to be the most tedious part of this whole endeavor now. Retrovision. Um, how do you do, fellow teens? What about this one? Yeah, now we're talking. Tears up. And another retrovision. It gets me every time with how funny it is. We got a red heart. And a tears upgrade. Let's go. Don't walk into me, okay? I'm trying to stomp productively. This is handled pretty poorly. I actually, for all the, like, talking about how this run is guaranteed to do pretty good things, and I do agree with that, eh, piercing shots are lovely despite the shot speed downgrade, um, I kind of find myself being like, I could use a little bit more speed on this run. So a blood bag would be very, very nice. Okay, so I'm really at this point relying on you, because I'm going to... And it takes some damage you might prefer to not take. And I gotta be honest, the bottle of pills, pretty terrible. But, oh, you shouldn't have blown up two of them. That's a bit of a rookie mistake. And to try to play this other one over here. You got anything for me? Nothing. I'm gonna blow you up. Uh, and you know what? I've been having a little bit more success with Zane lately. I think I'm going to try to sustain the Zane. So I'm going to take Crooked Penny. Uh, despite you possibly feeling like this is going to throw a monkey wrench into our plans. Might I remind you that I have 69 cents and as a result, uh, obviously I must be doing something right. Really the big uh, gain for us on this floor, uh, combined with piercing shots, is uh, two huge tiers upgrades. Almost doubled our rate of fire. Surprisingly. Mmm. The Joker will probably prove unnecessary. But we'll see. And I don't think we've been to our item room on this floor. That's a real problem with Amnesia. So often, you just forget about these special rooms. Or at least I do. Okay. Complete my guppy dream. Or I will slay you. Bit of a bummer. You know what? <laughs> Give me the two range upgrades instead. That was actually very foolish because we might have been able to get free deals with the devil via the Joker. Eh, but we're very content to take both of them regardless. And it also gave us Leviathan, which I guess technically is a speed upgrade. So, life is uh, but a dream. Mm, instead of a tears downgrade, how about you uh, go after yourself? And... Hematemesis. Hematemesis. Irrelevant. Alright, where is my item room? I have... So decided to make this a Super Mario parody. Where is my super suit? That's going nowhere. Alright, so we have a little Zane. We got a sprinkle of Zane and a sprinkle of sense on this run. Just even taking the nail temporarily has put me in this awesome position where uh, my spirit heart growth has basically been like good enough to last us hopefully the whole run although obviously there might be a certain element of wishful thinking there you know what moon me not like that you weirdos and uh if we can't get to the item room or the item room doesn't want to be found oh we've already been to it and it was is that where we got meat i actually i had seen that we got meat but i thought that it had come from uh the uh boss fight on the last floor what did we get from the boss fight on the last floor then I don't remember. I'm confused. Maybe it wasn't meat that we got there. Maybe we got... I don't know what we got. Couldn't have been that important. Unless maybe it was amazing. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. You know, all these things will be lost too. Like tears and rain. Rate of fire is now good. So what are we looking for? Well. Very little. Honestly. We're probably, actually, we're definitely not going to make Boss Rush. We're way too far behind schedule. What we would like to see the most of is, like, deals with the devil. We don't even need to maximize our use of uh, Omega Penny right now. We want deals with the devil for guppy transformations. Gives us future growth. But we also want deals with the devil so that we can uh, 
try to double them with uh, the Omega Penny, which we really should be using more frequently. I mean, now that we've gotten it, we've only had it for like half a floor, but you know, you look at this, and I think you go, sure, let's go for it. And then you go, let's go for it. And then you see what you got here. What do you got here? Two of diamonds. That's that's too much. We don't need it. What, what about these pills? What are these pills? Friends till the end? All right. I'll tell you what. You double it. All righty. See you later. It's still like... What did we miss out on there? Basically nothing. <laughs> we missed out on a bunch of friends till the end pills. And I guess we could have held on to Diplopia or something. But it, it just doesn't matter, you know? And we missed out on an opportunity to possibly get a guppy item there, but more likely just uh, enjoy life. Now, you might disagree with my approach here, and I would uh, suggest you got a very good reason to disagree with it. I'm going to play it two more times. Alright, so why throw six spirit arts that way? I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could... Crank up the Zane element and maybe get a get a guaranteed Mega Satan fight. Is it worth it? No, but possibly yes. People, you know, and and this is where philosophically I disagree with a lot of my colleagues, despite my incredible level of respect for them. I already know I'm not going to lose this run because I've committed to not losing this run, and I'm a man of my word. Prove me wrong. Uh, what? And don't don't mention Hollow Knight. Or the Nameless King. If you ignore these, I'm a man of my word. I think it's worth it as long as we get something out of it and, and we don't die in the process. What are we getting out of it? A little tension. A little old tension. What are we losing? Well, half of our HP with no means of which to replenish it potentially, but... Alright. So the real value of this item is being able to turn bad items into a single penny. Very efficient recycler. I still kind of want a uh, a key piece. We also know that we could get seven spirit hearts. Because one of those payouts gives us a bunch of spirit hearts. But uh, let's slow it down a little bit. Just to make sure that I don't accidentally get myself murdered. Trying to prove uh, that the run is good. You know, I, I do suffer from a little bit of roguelite guilt. It's similar to Catholic guilt, except I know what it feels like. Um, so when your run is so good, you subconsciously or even consciously self-sabotage a little bit because you're like, ah, you know, I need to make up for the fact that I've been given such an amazing gift early. You know, you need to, like, fabricate some stuff to make your run seem harder so that you actually deserve to win if you win. You know what? We deserve it. I'm just gonna tell my... It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Ooh, almost got me there. Just kidding. So, I think, are we going to have duality, or are we just going to have to deal with the angel? Because we do have to deal with the devil precedent. If we have duality, we should go to the deal with the angel, or sorry, the deal with the devil. I hate to say it, but we really value a guppy pickup more than anything else. Especially if it's nine lives, actually, which is exclusively good right now. Yeah, you're a little tankier than I thought you'd be considering our DPS, but you are now dead. HP, please. Not HP. Excuse me, where's our deal with the angel? I've been ripped off. Guppy. Guppy? Guppy? Magic school bus? Feels like I'm walking on a sunshine. Ah! Why do that? Because I can, okay? Even if it doesn't scale, I'm willing to go for it. A little confused about that, you know, way up I feel blessed, but... Oh well. Are we... What are, why are we generating flies? Where did those flies come from? Confused. Hmm. Now, telepathy for dummies... Is almost interesting. If we had 9 volt... I might consider rolling this long term. Stop. 
it's normally not particularly great when compared to the fact that, I mean, you could just get its effect for a passive instead, but I don't know. I, I think having homing tears, it helps out quite a lot. Once every two rooms is just not good enough for me, though. It's got to be once every room. So that's going to be a yikes from me, dog. Definitely should not have stood there and tried to get that, but <laughs> we're still alive. Um, I'm just looking for cards, man. Don't hook me up with this trash. If I'm going to get trash, at least put it in card form. Or give me like a demon heart as comeuppance. Ah, this is actually great, because now... I hate that. My one escape route got clogged. Um, we have a good opportunity to get a blood bag for free. Or maybe better if there's a demon judgment. So try to hit it from the back to the melody of Roll It Slow. That way you can see what comes out of the front. Nothing, huh? Well, with 99 cents, I'm going to play you, and uh, I would be very interested in getting a crystal ball, or a trinket that's more relevant to our interests right now. Or really anything at all, because with a luck stat of 4.64, when you give 10 cents to something and it doesn't give you anything back, you start to get a little disillusioned with the whole mechanic of gambling and Isaac. I mean, I still don't understand what it's meant to be for, except for time-wasting when you... Oh, never mind, we're good. Consid consider my will acquiesced here. You don't need to tell me these things. My brain already tells me them. Well, except for, like, look to La Luna. Please. <sighs> End question, authority. The fool. How about, a uh, no. Nope. We're unlikely to play this. You might as well trash it. You know what? I'm playing you until 50 cents, and then I'm, uh, I'm blowing you up. Hmm, not that tempting, honestly. I understand the value, but I just don't appreciate it. So, four more cents. Hey, never mind, you're done. Alright, well, let's do diligence at the very least. I can look at myself in the mirror and be proud of the fact that I, you know, stuck it out till the end there. How do you say mirror? Because I, I say mirror. But when I try to enunciate, it's like mirror. It feels like one of those words. I'm always, uh, I got a hair trigger for, like, people saying I pronounce things incorrectly. Often leads into a little bit of a certain anti-American rant about how you didn't invent the English language, so don't assume that you know how everything's pronounced just because, uh, 100% of your familiarity with people speaking English is people who speak in your particular accent, and when you see someone that's from the country that originally you know, invented the language to begin with, which is not Canada, I'll admit, but of course England. You say, buddy, where are you from? But I digress, okay? This should be three free spirit arts in here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. Z, Z, Z. Baby, baby, baby. So we're at full HP. Uh, Swallowed Penny is kind of another relatively bad trinket for us, honestly. I'm not mad about Burnt Penny. Burnt Penny's really good. But in order to stay uh, relevant, I either need better bombs or a different trinket. So, like, we're never going to use 23 bombs in combat when our tiers are this good. Give me sad bombs. Give me toxic bombs. Homing bombs. Plenty of Plenty of value here. Okay, big moves. We're on the shop. I respect it. We don't need multiple versions of Dad's key. We we didn't even need one. Or we sorry, I should say we didn't even need two. <laughs> it's super not worth doubling because one is good enough and we could definitely afford it without it compromising our run at all. So a bit of a weird play. Alright, 40% chance of a deal with the devil. I don't really like Rainbow Worm. 40% chance of a deal with the devil. No chance of boss rush at all. Hey. I'm excited. And luck down. Luck down is not that bad, because our luck was not doing much for us anyway, as you saw. Get a little closer to Bookworm. Two pretty bad books on the same floor, even though we did think about the idea of using one of them for a little while. 
Do you have a tinted rock for me? No, you do not. So this will be a really nice floor. I think we're going to be fine on the run and on, you know, this floor in particular. And the next floor, I should say, in particular. But it'd be real sweet of you to give me a deal with the devil right away. Even if it costs us our deal with the devil on the next floor, which I don't know if you can think of, of probabilities in that way, of having some kind of, like, deliberate causality behind them, but... You know, I, I would... I would like to collect the item as early as possible. Dang. It reminds me of a story, actually, from my youth. In the third grade, I had a uh, teacher, and she was teaching us about the structure of stories. You know, which seems self-evident, but only because you probably learned it in school, right? She said every story has a beginning, a middle, and the end. She popped open a box of Oreos to demonstrate. She gave each one of us an Oreo cookie from the Nabis Nabisco Corporation. And she said, see, the top of the Oreo is like the beginning, the middle of the Oreo is like the middle, and the bottom of the Oreo is like the end. So we're all going to write a short story... It's three paragraphs long, which is pretty reasonable for a third grader. I mean, it's not, it's probably not going to get published, but still. I don't think we want to potentially ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility there. Uh, and then, like, as you're writing the story, eat the parts of the Oreo to signify it. Now, I was a, an eager child, and I didn't really listen to her instructions. I was always, I'm the kid in school. Oh, you fool. Or I was the kid in school, I should say, that, uh... I was way more interested in being the first done than in being the most polished. And I think you can see some of that in my uh, the elements of my life to this day. It's not about the quality of one worksheet. It's about the number of worksheets you can put out in a given day, if you know what I mean. Isaac episodes. Uh, so, I wasn't really paying attention to what this lady was saying. I ate the whole Oreo, and then I wrote my story. And she said, where's your Oreo? And I said, I ate it. And she said, you're not allowed to eat it until you've finished your whole story. And I said, well, that's how are you going to enforce that one, officer? Because it's in my stomach right now. And she was like a little perturbed. But I was mad too because, you know, I ate the Oreo. She gave me the Oreo. And then I wrote the story. It's like, a you know, you pay in advance. And then I did the work. It's not like I wouldn't have done it. Either way, but I was mostly just like, I'm good for it. I'm. What am I gonna do? I'm in school. I'm gonna write the story. You don't have to hold the you know token economy of the Oreo over top. Don't sweat it. I'll, I'll finish your three paragraph story. It'll probably be the best friggin' one in the class. Did you give me something there? You didn't. All right. So you're finally done. Um. 75% chance of a deal with the devil, please. This would be a good one to give me some appreciable benefit, even though life is going just fine. Three batteries. So that's a little story from, from NL's youth. The tale of the pre-consumed Oreo. I still, like, I understand what the teacher was getting at. But I'm a little... I, I don't need... Uh, that was so dumb. I don't need an extrinsic value to get work done in school. You know, that... That was for the troublemakers in the class. I think you should let the people who were self-motivated eat the Oreo for sustenance. And then write the story. The story will probably be better because I got fueled by all the... You know, delicious Oreo juice inside. I don't really care about that item. If we're going to ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility... That my thought there was like we might as well go for... Uh, uh, getting two HP upgrades instead of the one there. And we're guppy now, so life's good. But I do kind of wish we had gotten the HP. Okay, we don't need this many bombs. Well, we are unfortunately unable to fight Hush. And by unfortunately, I mean what an incredible gift we've been given. To be forced to not have to fight Hush. At this point, I want to deal with the devil just to get back to permanent Polaroid invincibility. And if we could pick up a little HP along the way, that'd be even better. Okay, well, by HP I meant spirit hearts, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna turn on my nose at this. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a mob trap room or a boss trap room rather that has a, an angelic chest in it. It's a little weird. 
I'm not against it, I'm just saying. So this run should be fine. We'll go to 15 wins in a row. Halfway to get into that... Well, not really half, but three quarters of the way to get into 20. But you know what I mean. Halfway between 10 and 20, which are two big milestones. I think on a streak, you know, once you get in the groove, not every run is a milestone. You, you'll, you'll get uh, deadened to the idea of milestones if you treat your whole life like that. Hey, just when I was about to be disappointed. Uh, instead, you know, once every five runs, once every ten runs, you know, those are the ones that you think really matter, I think. Let's go. And at this point, dude, I missed a spirit R back there. But at this point, give me Vibrant Bulb. Because I think we're probably just going to bank the stats upgrades and very, very rarely use uh, Omega Penny at this point. We should have unlocked the coins there. But look at the stat upgrade, dude. We're rolling. And really, the big benefit here is for our flies. That's what's nice about being in, uh, you know, college. When you're in college, you don't have to go through stuff like that. Like, by the time you're an adult, and I don't, I, believe you me, I take the teacher's side in most situations. Mostly because, you know, I've been in their shoes. But, in college... You can't treat third graders like they're in college, because they'll just... You know, if you ever say, like, hey, work or don't work, doesn't matter to me. You know, I get paid the same, and you're just ruining your own future. Every kid is going to color. Instead, well, like, there'll be two kids learning their times tables, everybody else is going to color. Can't do it, unfortunately. I know... Kids, their minds are so beautiful and spongy. Yeah, but their habits are terrible. <laughs> they want to eat ice cream for dinner. Hey, be destroyed. Um, so you gotta have some level of discipline. I understand the point that my teacher was trying to make back in third grade, but in college, they're like, hey, uh, this is due on this day. Or, like, you know, just don't do it and fail. That's also fine. You know, you're an adult. You can prioritize. I much prefer that. Did I tell you about the... the I took this class, and the class was extremely terrible. It was the last class I, I took... Or the most recent class I took, to be unambiguous, because I have more classes coming. But anyway. Um, there's like a 35-year-old guy in the class. Whole class is like people over the age of 18. Average age, probably like 30. Uh, and he put up his hand and said, Can I go to the bathroom? And everyone went, Ah, that's real weird. <laughs> You're an adult, my dude. First off, I don't know, can you? Secondly, you gotta just, if the teacher said no, you gotta go, like, you know you have to go, you know, I understand what he meant, by the way, he probably wasn't asking for permission, it was more like a question of, are we gonna do anything important, because if not, I'm gonna go use the bathroom, but it's still, say, you gotta be the master of your own domain by the time you hit that age, you know, whether, you could be in the middle of the final exam, just walk out, go to the bathroom, and if he fails you, he fails you, you gotta pee. Okay? At some point, you just gotta accept that that's a, a relevant part of your life, that you can decide for yourself that, hey, I need to go to the bathroom, and this, this guy's not gonna stop me. If this nerd tries to tell me not to go to the bathroom, I gotta give him a wedgie and tell him to mind his own business. Anyway. That's, uh, I digress. I continue to digress. Because this run is strong. So this this whole run is digressions. Don't... Okay. I was just going to say, don't, like... Give me a, a whole other path. But it really gave me a dead end that's incentivized. And I'm willing to take them up on their offer here. What's the post-mortem on this run? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll let you know when the enemies are all mortemed. Right now, it seems a little presumptuous to assume we got the victory, but, I mean, I do assume that we have the victory, because everything's looking good. The only thing I'd like to see uh, that I consider slightly more than just, like, a quality of life improvement... Well, two things. I'd like to see a guaranteed Spirit Heart Generator, like the Relic. If that showed up, there's literally... Anybody who complains about this run after that showing up, you know, it should fall on deaf ears. 
Apart from that, quality of life, tears upgrade. Still rolling eight, certainly not bad, especially with guppy and uh, piercing shots. But those are the two things where I'm like, that could take this run next level. And it's really been like a relatively long run as well. Not gonna use Omega Penny there because it's a pretty big loss for us statistically. I feel good. I feel. I said it at the start of the last episode, I think, but I feel calm and I feel loose in Isaac. I don't feel like I'm going into every run like, ooh, I need these pieces. I'm going in and going, hey, this is what the run's like, and here's how we're going to maximize our chances, and we've been coming out on the, on the positive, most of it. Well, all of them, really. Plus, we've been working a little bit of Zane back into our diet after we had a little Zane intolerance. And, uh, yeah, feeling nice. Feeling really good about Isaac right now. Mostly because I'm never going to lose again. The IAA shocked my system. Will I use the Omega Penny here? Absolutely. Well worth it, I'd say. <laughs> How? No, you got me. I was... I was just being proud. But if you got the item and you don't use it there, I'm sorry. You might be an infant eating his Oreos in order to write his story properly. Or her story properly, for that matter. I just haven't played her story yet. The game from Sam Barlow that won the IGF Awards two years ago, so I don't want to, you know, be presumptuous. Compound Fracture? Uh, Keska say? Tibi, uh huh. Tibi, 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 uh, better. Cast, 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 cast the brick. Where are we off to? Uh, hopefully the boss room. I mean, like, at some point, you know, on an Isaac run, you can basically close the book on it. And that's where we're at right now. Compound Fracture is actually crushing it. Fair enough. You know, you got me? I can complain. And I am complaining, but still. Dead Cat is just like, it's an HP downgrade, but it gives us, it's one of the weird Dead Cat plays where you actually have to uh, evaluate it on its merits. And you're like, well, is it worth losing one HP to have eight attempts on the boss that I otherwise wouldn't have had? Yeah, absolutely. In this case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. 15 in a row. I'll see you next time.